Hi Survivor, my name is Shelby, I'm 29 years old and I'm from Michigan. And I'm wedged between my two fur babies right now. Daisy and Maui, and they're super over it. Um, a little bit about me, I am uh, married to my husband for two years now. We've been together for quite a few years. We both met at vet school at Michigan State University. Go green! Um, he does GP medicine, I do ER medicine, and I think that's kind of the first example that I want to share with you to why I have what it takes, and, and I know that's going to help me advance in the game of Survivor. So being an ER vet, um, I have to quickly create these bonds with owners and have them have this understanding that they can trust in me and be comfortable with me treating their their baby, their their fur, their pet, their, their fur, their fur baby um, in this really trying time. Oftentimes these pets come to me, you know, so sick, some some dying and I have to really quickly think on my feet of what I need to instruct my team um, in, in terms of helping get that pet stabilized all while then calmly reflect that um, conversation with the owner all over the phone. I mean, COVID times, gosh, we're all curbside right now. So I can't even see owners face to face. I have to do this all over the phone, which is is a, a nice added challenge in, in the grand scheme of things. And so I do think that um, adaptability that I've done in my career over the past, especially past year and a half with the way that the pandemic's been, will really help strengthen my social game. I mean, having to create quick relationships with your teammates, um, getting them to trust in you and be loyal to you is huge in this game. And I know that I have that ability to do that. Gosh, I do that for a living. Um, in addition to then having to manage my, my cases and, and, you know, that's a whole nother side of things there. But socially, I do think my career is going to help me be a very strong player for this game. Um, other things about me, super athletic, um, throughout undergrad and college, I was a walk on for Michigan state women's rowing, never picked up an oar in my life. Um, but it, it was an awesome challenge to not only be studying my, my butt off for vet school, you know, that's gosh, eight years of schooling right there, but also now having to devote basically a full-time job to a sport and being dedicated to something like that is just freaking awesome. Right. We, 30 some plus hours a week on top of you know full class load, being there, having teammates, putting yourself in that position. I mean, anyone that knows anything about rowing, yeah, you gotta be athletic, you gotta have endurance. Um, check, check for survivor, right? But you also have to be mentally strong. I mean, this is a mind over matter sport. When you're racing that 2K, you're getting to that finish line, the last, I got chills right now thinking about it, last 500 meters of that, that race, you need to give it your all. You do it for yourself. You do it for your teammates. You know in, in the next minute and a half you're going to be done and it's going to be feel the greatest feeling in the world. But like Jeff says, you got to empty the tank. And, and that's what you do in this sport. And I think that's going to be something also huge and as an advantage for my mental game, um, keeping my, my mind about me in these challenges, especially when it becomes individual immunity. I know that's where I'm going to shine because I just, I'm relentless. I just love to give it my all. Um, aside from those things, I mean, my husband, we're both active hunters. Um, we like to, we like to do a lot of stuff outside. So being a great lake state, gosh, we've got a boat, you know, it's no surprise. Um, we're on the water all the time in the summertime. We like to wake surf, uh, ski, um, just have a good time out on the water with friends. We also do side-by-side -side riding too. Um, and we just had a, a fun little excursion in West Virginia. Um, there was all mountain riding in the cliffs, going up rocks, thought I was going to fall to my death. Uh, Michigan's a pretty flat state, so this was kind of leveling up in terms of our trail riding. And uh, it, it was quite terrifying, but it was, it, was, it was fun. It was a challenge for sure. Um, I'm also kind of a quirky person. Um, I mean, I think it comes with the territory of being a vet. Anyone that knows anything about vets, they're a, a different breed of people. Um, I have this challenge where I like to catch wildlife birds. Um, I don't know where it, it, it came back from way, way ago when I was much younger. I was trying to catch seagulls on the beach, you know, because who doesn't love a good seagull? And so then I upped it to ducks and now 
swans and pigeons and so i've got a couple of photos i can share with you too but that's kind of a weird thing so i mean yeah I'm, I'm a hunter i'm a gatherer i think i could provide for my tribe sure whatever you know those things definitely are essential for the game but i do think my athleticism and my social aspect is going to carry me for a long ways in the game and, and even help me in the end when i'm sitting there convincing my jury that i have what it takes to win um but i you know why do I want to play this game? I'm a super fan. I I love this game. I love how it puts you in this really raw state, right? Like it really strips you down, pulls those peels back, and you know you, the world gets to see that. And and besides from that, I just I like how it pushes you, and and I need that. I mean, I think that's reflective in my upbringing. I always like to be in that state where I'm feeling challenged. I love the reward of, oh, I, I made it through, I accomplished that. And I just love the game so much. I love the physicality of it. I love the, the, mental, um, the, the mental challenge that, that in, is ensued with that. It's just an awesome, awesome game. And I'm so glad we're at 41 seasons here and counting. So I'm going to be your next Soul Survivor season 43. Come on, let's go. Um, I look forward to hearing from you guys. I have so much more to share. I wish, gosh, I'm already over in time by a ton. Hopefully you're still with me. Thanks so much for listening to my story. Appreciate you guys. And I love Survivor. Let's go.